So, filling up the old Prius, I noticed that there is gas for $5.79 a gallon regular, but then at the bottom of the sign, you've got this E85 gas that's almost half the price of regular gas. So that is selling for $3.69 a gallon. So will a Prius burn E85 gas? Is it a good idea? We're gonna look into it, do a little math and see if, if E85 is a scam or if it's legit. So before we just uh, haphazardly put stuff in the car that might kill it, we'll read the manual, but it sure is tempting when it says $3.69 versus all of these much higher, higher, higher prices. Now you really should only put it in a car that says flex fuel on it, that's authorized for flex fuel. Shout out to the B77 gang life. Uh, so let's see what the manual says. We'll go straight to the Prius manual and then we'll do some math and figure out if flex fuel is a good idea for anybody and if you really save any money by using it. Well, as you see here, they say you can have gas that's up to 10% ethanol, but the E85 is from 51 to 83% ethanol. So that's way too much for the car. So it's not gonna work unfortunately. Um, there are people online, if you want to look at the Toyota Prius forums, there are people who claim that they've converted their car to burn E85 and that it does work properly. But then the question is, well, how many miles per gallon do you get? And then how many dollars does it cost you to travel each mile? So if you look at this flex fuel vehicle that's brand new, it gets 26 miles per gallon with gas and 18 if you run E85 in it. So 44% more miles per gallon for gasoline versus E85. So if you do the price mathematics, then you see it's 56% more money for regular gas versus E85 in the old Prius, which means you're only getting maybe 12% better uh, miles per dollar. So you might not want to even bother with a conversion if such a thing even exists rather than just burning regular gas at this point. And if I had to guess why Toyota never put out a flex fuel Prius, I think it's because you'd probably get 26 miles per gallon and you'd freak out and think it was broken and bring it back to the dealer and complain if you ran it on E85. So they, they probably figured let people run it on regular gas, let them see a higher number, and then they won't come and complain.